Women's ice hockey coach Katie Crowley here for BCEagles.com. Coach, uh, can you review first this past weekend series with UConn? Two tighter games, a goaltender who stopped almost 100 shots on the weekend, and first goals coming much later than usual. Can you talk about that? Yeah, um, you know, they're a team that really packs it in and in front of that net, so they make it difficult for you to get there. Um, and they have a great goaltender. You know, we know that from last year's uh, core, our semifinal game where we, we had a lot of shots on her and, um, and, and didn't put too many in. So I thought our kids um, handled it well mentally. They stuck with it and, and, uh, and really – um, you know, maintain their composure through both games. Um, you know, the first one, the first game we had, you know, we scored a little bit earlier. Um, but the second one, you know, to not score through that first period and still maintain your composure and stay within yourselves. And, and uh, I thought they did a great job with that. Um, so overall, I thought it was two, two good games. I mean, UConn's gonna, uh, gonna battle you hard. They're gonna be uh, a tough, tough team that competes when you're out there with that, uh, you know, against them. And, um, and their goaltender is very good. So, um, you know, I, overall I thought it was a good weekend for us to come away with four points. Coach, the defense has been phenomenal to start the year. You're one month into the season. Can you just talk about how surprised you are with the young defensive pair of Flanagan and uh, Keller, um, and as well as Bazal on the first line as well? Yeah, um, they've, been, uh, they've been great. I mean, Megan and, and Callie logged a lot of minutes, or especially Megan logged a lot last year. Um, and Callie, Callie saw quite a bit last year too, and I think that that's been able to carry over for them for this year in their sophomore campaign. And we we knew, you know, losing Falzer, we expected a lot out of those two um, to really help out with that. And and I think that they've done um, done a great job. I mean, they're out there all the time. And when we were up at Cornell, they were out for the last probably three three minutes of the game because we had penalties. Um, so. They've, they've, uh, those two have done a tremendous job with, with um, being able to log that amount of minutes and, and, um, and to be effective. Um, and Grace, Grace has done, you know, it's, it's, it was good for us that uh, Courtney was able to coach her at U18, so she kind of knew how, uh, how we do our defensive zone and how we play. And I think that helped her carry right over to, to uh, you know, to, so that she could start off right from the get-go um, to be playing our system. And I think she's done a great job, um, and I think she's just going to continue to get better. I mean, she's, got, she's very, very smart, um, and I think we'll just continue to get better in this game. You know, playing college, you, you you're logging a lot of minutes, and it's a it's a tough um, adjustment from high school. And I think uh, she's done a great job with it so far. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, you have Boston University for two games. Uh, the teams are t uh, both your team and Boston U University are tied atop the hockey standings. Uh, what are you expecting from them? Uh, I mean, this is this is uh, this is one of our biggest rivals, you know, and and uh, so we're expecting a tough game, a fun game, um, a back and forth game. Um, and, and I, you know, I think they've, they've had a few games where they've been down, uh, this year, but, um, but I, I would expect them to be up to play against us and, and, uh, I expect our team to be up to play against them. Um, you always know that when you're playing against BU, it's going to be a battle and, and it's going to be a fun game. So I think our kids are looking forward to that and, and, uh, they have some great players on their team and, and, uh, it, it should be a fun weekend. Uh, with the series split in three days between games, does that make any difference in how you uh, prepare for a team like Boston University? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Yep. Um, with the series split in three days between games this weekend, um, does that make any difference in the way you prep for the game? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, I think we'll, we'll, you know, prepare the same way. Um, you know, that was due to. Um, you know, the Four Nations tournament and stuff that we tried to move things around for. Um, and we didn't end up needing to uh, move those games. But um, they'll have some – I think they'll have one player gone for their first game um, and then and then probably have her back for the second game in, of the series. But um, it should be – I think it'll still be – it's going to be a great weekend of hockey. It doesn't change any way that we prepare. We get another day to kind of rest in between there and, and uh, be ready to go for our home game on Tuesday. Coach, just on that same point, the last time you saw this team was in the Hockey East Finals. Any, you know, motivation for this matchup, first game of the year? I mean, I think that's added motivation, yeah, for sure. You know, it's, it's uh, I think we'll, our kids are motivated every time we play BU. You know, it's tough not to, to get up for that game and, and, uh, 
and we've had some good battles with them in the past. So um, plus, it's a huge game for them because they can they can jump back up into the rankings. You know, so it's one of those things where we have to we have to stay focused. We have to stay within ourselves. Keep playing our game. Um, but I don't mind if they're a little excited for it, and, and you know, maybe in the you know first couple of minutes, it's it's uh, getting a, you know accustomed and, and kind of taking a deep breath and relaxing. Coach, the power play has been one of the best in the nation this year. Just some adjustments from last year. Can you just talk about what's translated this year from last year? Um, we're just trying to focus on, you know, the fact that, that the purpose of the power play is to score. It sounds so silly, but, um, you know, that that should be, if you see at any point in that power play in that two minutes, you see a, an opportunity to, to create a, a scoring opportunity, then you should take that. Um, and, and I think that, you know, that showed in Cornell, I think we had a goal 16 seconds into the power play and, and, uh, the kids are, I think using it, um, you, you know, we're really focusing on that part this year and, and using that to, to help us. I mean, we should be at a huge advantage when we're, we're up uh, one player. So um, I think the kids have done a good job of focusing when they're on that power play and really realizing that that's their opportunity to, to put one in and put the other team back on their heels.